Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to the Chinese Entertainment Update, May 21st, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 688 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, story of Kunming Palace is confirmed and then postponed. Back from the brink gets its opening Topan rating. Rumor has it that Liu Luo and Bai Lu will reunite for a new installment of the Three Lives Three World series. Personally, I'm not too convinced. And purported medical students question Gen Z's plot. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, just one drama for today and the past few days. Hi, producer stars Zhang Nan and Li Xiaoran. The modern drama premiered yesterday, May 20th. It revolves around Zhang Nan's character, a young director who teams up with a cultural relics expert, played by Zhang Bo, to do a variety show about the Forbidden City. High Producer is slated for 35 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Heading into this weekend, two other dramas were rumored to premiere. One is Angels Fall Sometimes with Landi Li and Ling Yi. The other, which I was quite convinced would air, is Where Dreams Begin with Xiao Zhan and Li Qing. Both were rumored to premiere on May 21st and both have not materialized. On the subject of dramas rumored to premiere, Story of Kunning Palace has been on a bit of a roller coaster ride in the past few days. The highly anticipated costume drama starring Bai Lu and Zhang Linghe was rumored to air on May 18th, but that didn't materialize. On the day, instead of dropping episodes, they dropped this poster to announce 4 million reservations on Aichi Then, they dropped this poster saying that they were going to air on May 19th. They also shared a new trailer to really drum up the anticipation. However, to fans' chagrin, a couple of hours before the drama was set to air, they shared this message to say, Due to technical reasons, story of Kunning Palace's broadcast will be postponed until further notice. We sincerely apologize. As we all know, technical reasons is just a go-to arbitrary reason. The real reason is never revealed. Rumor on social media is that the real reason has to do with actor Zhou Junwei's past. At the moment, Zhou Junwei has a supporting role in the drama. He is fourth build. According to World Journal, in 2022, the actor posted a piece of white paper on social media. It was a symbolic gesture in support of the white paper protest against the Chinese government's strict COVID restrictions. His Weibo account was then banned in February this year, but it looks like it's been reinstated since. Zhou Junwei's fans rebutted the claims, however, pointing out that his variety show Detective Academy as well as web drama Since I Met You are still available to stream. Whatever the real reason is, I feel bad for those who purchased VIP packages on IG because of the drama. The drama did boast 4 million reservations on the platform. It isn't really IG's fault, but still, the optics are terrible for them. In any case, I will update again if the drama announces another premiere date. To cap off the drama and premiere date segment, Prosecution Elite has a rumor premiere date. Word on social media is that the modern drama starring Del Raba and Tong Da Wei is rumored for a May 29th premiere. In the drama, Del Raba is an investigator with the prosecutor's office. She is sent to investigate the case of a missing college student. I will update again if the drama announces something official. And that's it for dramas and premiere dates. Moving on, opening Topan ratings, just one for today. Back from the Brink got its opening Topan rating, an average score of 7.5 from around 27,400 ratings. That's not bad actually, especially considering Xianxia dramas don't normally get great scores on Topan. As always, those of you following the drama, too high, too low, or just about right, let us know in the comment section below. Back from the Brink premiered on May 9th and will run until June 12th. In it, Neo Ho is a dragon in search of missing parts of his body. Zhou Ye vows to protect him while he does so. 
This next story is a rumor that's been floating around, and I wasn't going to mention it initially because personally, I don't think it's going to happen, but more and more media outlets have been talking about it, so I thought I'd just put it out there and let you guys see for yourselves. And the rumor, as covered here by media outlet Wa, is that Leo Luo and Bai Lu will reunite for a new installment in the Three Lives Three World series, titled Wu Sheng Lian. Leo Luo and Bai Lu are just coming off the enormous success of Till the End of the Moon, so any talk of a reunion would definitely spark online discussion. In fact, it would be a second reunion and a third collaboration for the two actors. They also headlined 2020's modern romance drama Love is Sweet. The most popular installment in the Three Lives Three World series has to be 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms, also known as Eternal Love. Airing in 2017, the Xianxia drama starring Yang Mi and Mark Chow is the most viewed Chinese drama ever. It's said to have marked a new renaissance for Chinese TV. Since then, there have been spin-offs including Eternal Love of Dream with Dilraba and Van Gogh Gao, and Love and Destiny with Zhang Zhen and Nini. The possible repairing of Liu Luo and Bai Lu has fans excited, not least because rumor also has it that filming of Bu Sheng Lian will begin next month. I used to do a segment called Rumor Raider, where I would mention a rumor that's been floating out there, and then rate it based on how good a rumor I thought it was, and how likely it was to happen. In honor of this rumor, I'm gonna bring back the segment, and give the rumor a 1 out of 5 stars rating. I just don't think it's gonna happen. No real rhyme or reason, just my personal opinion. As far as I know, so far nothing official has been mentioned. And it's just not that often that stars reunite for another drama this soon. Lastly, for drama updates, according to Sina Entertainment, medical students have complained about the plot of Gen Z, and the drama has responded. Gen Z is a modern drama that premiered on May 14th. In it, Wu Kang is a traditional Chinese medicine professor who imparts his knowledge to a student played by Cao Lusi. Recently, a couple of screenshots of conversation threads regarding Gen Z have been floating social media. Purported medical students have questioned the veracity of Gen Z's plot. In this screenshot, a commenter pleads for fewer of, quote unquote, these types of dramas that insult us medical students. They continue. Real med students, regardless of Chinese or Western medicine, have to have taken basic classes. Has the female lead done so? Has she gone certification? Practicing medicine without certification is illegal. Here are more commenters questioning Cao Lusa's character's qualifications and by extension, the writing. Quote, How did she get to this position? People need to have learned traditional Chinese medicine before they can be a successor. She doesn't know anything. Why doesn't she go learn first? It is modern times, do they still do this kind of family succession?" End quote. Gen Z did respond to these complaints. They wrote, In traditional Chinese medicine, inheritance of knowledge is an important part of its development. The educational part of the plot is derived from the current order number 52 of the Ministry of Health. As to whether Toto, Cao Lusa's character, will be the successor, let's wait and see. Those of you following the drama, what do you think of all this criticism? Warrant it or not? Before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with a dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 173, May 21st, 2023. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu surges. Number 10. Royal Rumors The costume drama stars Jeremy Xu and Zoe Meng Number 9, Love Heals, the modern drama stars Peng Guanying and Wang Churan. 
Number 8, The Lord of Losers Season 2. The modern drama stars Li Chia Hang and Cheng Guo. Number 7, Desire Catcher. The modern drama stars Cheng Ye Cheng and Xing Yun Lai. Number 6, The Long Season. The modern drama stars Fan Wei and Qing Hao. Number 5, Grandma's New World. The modern drama stars Yan Ni and Deng Enxi. Number 4, Till the End of the Moon. The costume drama stars Liu Luo and Bai Lu. Number 3, The Love You Give Me. The modern drama stars Yu Wen Wang and Wang Ziqi. Number 2, Back from the Brink. The costume drama stars Neo Ho and Zhou Ye. And number 1, The Ingenious One. The costume drama stars Chen Xiao and Rachel Mao. The Ingenious One is championed for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 571 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Ode to Joy Season 4. The modern drama stars Maggie Jiang and Ora Yang. Number 9, Take Us Home. The modern drama stars Mai Li and Bai Yu. Number 8, Infernal Affairs. The Republican era drama stars Qing Dong and Claudia Wang. Number 7, Youth in Flames of War. The Republican era drama stars Dylan Wang and Zhou Ye. Number 6, Undercover Policewoman. The modern drama stars Zhou Yanqing and Lennox Liu. Number 5, The Knockout. The modern drama stars Zhang Yi and Zhang Songwen. Number 4, Sweet and Cold. The modern drama stars Eva Wang and Jing Han. Number 3, Gen Z. The modern drama stars Wu Kang and Zhao Lusi. Number 2, The Ordinary Road. The modern drama stars Guo Qiling and Gina Jin. And number 1, Warm and Sweet. The modern drama stars Victoria Song and Michelle Chen. Warm and Sweet ends the week with 560 points, making it champion for a second time since its premiere. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!